want to control your home from your mobile device or automate mundane tasks like switching on lights, frustrated by expensive home automation systems that don't work with each other and each need a different app to control, you need OpenHab. It's free and you can run the whole thing from a Raspberry Pi. Apart from being free and open source, the great thing about OpenHab is that it works with over 150 different types of smart home products, from off-the-shelf commercial systems like Z-Wave, Philips Hue, or Harmony Ultimate Remotes, to completely custom devices like an Arduino or just generic HTTP requests. Basically, you can control any kind of smart home product out there. There's a web interface, a mobile interface, there's remote access to control your home from anywhere, and you can program your own custom interface if you're into that kind of thing. It's got a powerful scripting language for automating tasks far beyond the complexity of any other smart home hub out there. Or you can use the web API to interact with OpenHab from popular automation tools like If This Then That or Tasker. The only downside to OpenHab is that it's pretty tough to get installed and configured. You don't need a computer science degree, but it helps. Alternatively, you can read our free guide over at makeuseof.com where we walk you step by step through installing OpenHab, get you familiar with the fundamentals of how to install bindings and create items, and then show you how to connect your system with IFTTT. If you can read and type, you too can get this working. And look out for part two of the guide where we go through automating with rules, adding Z-Wave sensors, and more complex stuff. Thank you for watching, and I hope you're as excited as I am to get started with OpenHab on Raspberry Pi. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for weekly reviews, giveaways, and tutorials from all of us at makeuseof.com.